Where we've ended up is super remote. There is nothing around it. In fact, just the paddock itself is hundreds of acres in size, so it's easy to not see this piece of junk from a distance. So I get... Do you, what day did you find it? Monday. Okay, okay. So this is a while after this thing's happened. It did. Place, yeah, so, so it happened on Saturday the 9th. Yeah, but it's direct. Once we get down into the next gate, you'll be able to... Well, I can see it because I know where it is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, you just see it sticking out of the ground. You couldn't see from here to that bush because of fog, so we wouldn't have seen it. But if I'd have seen that from here, I wouldn't have took one bit of notice, I'd have thought, oh, that's an old burnt tree. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have even tweak to me that it'd be something like that. Well, as you said, you know, there, there's no, cr there's not a crater, there's not, no, you know, if it was no a big burnt, hole in no, Skirt's no grass, grass, yeah. It was about a month ago, and I found it on Monday. It was about 10 o'clock, over there, on the side of the hill. It looks like a, what do you think it looks like, that if it wasn't? Well, I, when I first seen it, I thought it was a, Oh, uh, loosen mower. Also, um, it looks like a dead tree. Yeah, well, it does now that I know it's there, but when the first thing I looked when it was foggy, that's what I thought what it was. Yeah, he's coming now, but he must have dropped that here before because it wasn't here. So, so, so this is the piece that landed on on, on chalk. Oh, yeah, okay, and and then you said so that's kind of oh here he is. Here he is. Yeah, so this is the bit coming here. So as you get up close, you can kind of see really subtle detail in all the features. You can see some of the scarring already on this panel, this is due to the re heat re-entry. You can start to see cabling, so kind of this is a carbon mesh and what it's doing is to insulate um, both around any cabling and any wires. You know, keeping in mind this has to withstand intense heat. Now, um, firstly, some people think this stuff is radioactive, and it's not. Uh, yes, there is radiation in space. Things don't come back uh, radioactive all of the sudden. And it's also been out in the weather, the rain, the wind for a couple of weeks. So any loose, potentially harmful bits may have blown and washed off. And so we think this is a fin. This is a part of the fin of the trunk that has now speared itself into the ground. Uh, and it's about three meters tall. We think it weighs about uh, 20 to 30 kilograms. Obviously, we haven't dug it out of the ground.